Vintage lighting fixtures in need of repair are often banished to the attic or basement waiting for that day when they'll be restored to their original beauty. Well, with the help of our next guest, that day could be today. Mark Oaken is the general manager at Restoration Lighting Gallery in Hartford and is back with us with some great ideas. It's wonderful to have you back Good with us. Good to see you, Jocelyn. Good to be back. All right, we'll talk about these, uh, these pieces, but some of these pieces... Uh, some people just throw those away as well. You know, people take these beautiful fixtures, they'll put them in the attic, they'll throw them in the, in the dump, God forbid, or, you know, they'll just relegate them to the basement and it to be cleaned away at a later date. And they're really, you can't find the quality or the beauty of what we have here produced today. Absolutely. And we'd like to resurrect that. Okay, and let's show everybody what you've done. Let's take a look at the first piece you have here. Well, this is called the ceiling pan fixture. It's a two light. Now, I have one finished and one unfinished. This is typical of what you find. The paint's on it, there's a little bit of uh, oxidation. We've taken it, cleaned it up, first made it safe so it's going to work well in your home. What do you mean by that? Oh, new wiring, new sockets, ground wires, it's done so it's safe. Anybody can make it pretty, making it safe is what counts, what you don't see. Okay. When we do that finishing process to it and we bring it back to its original look, back what it would look like in... 1920. And what kind of bulbs do you use for this one? You know, a lot of people don't want to see those exposed bulbs. They're all, you know, they want shades and glass. Right next to it, we've got these beautiful replicas of Victorian and early Edison bulbs that look really great in the fixtures. They give a nice style to it if someone's looking for a period design. And they're just really unique, used a lot today in different designs. Back then, that is the way they, they showcase these, this lighting. Absolutely. The open bulb was it with a really unique filament on the inside with some design. So you want to be true to that period. You want to keep it exposed. Yes. All right. Now, you've got a really interesting piece right here, this lamp. This shows just a lot of the skill we have. Not only do we restore pieces, but we'll make something out of something that's been reclaimed. These are organ pipes from the Trinity uh, Church in New Britain. We took them, how were we gonna reuse them? Well, we made a nice uh, holder for them, and now they're a good lamp, so if you have an organist in the family or uh, someone in the clergy who might like something with an organ. Or theme, maybe a piece of this church, or, because uh, for, you know, for uh, a keepsake. Exactly, and that happens a lot. And not just little projects like this, but we do big projects. City of Hartford, we've done projects for Deerfield Academy, just from little things to, to big giant things. We have a lot of historic buildings in the state, so that's what you do. You, you can go into one of these buildings and just restore a lot of the smaller things that you guys handle, the lightings Absolutely. and everything else. All the lighting, the hardware, uh, mirrors, any accents, whether it's for the home or a commercial building. We can really work on all of it. Also for this lamp, you created, uh, well, you chose a shade for it. We have about a thousand shades in stock. Mm -hmm. This style is really popular now, the rectangle with the, with the horizontal pleat. Just really sharp looking. It, it kind of dresses up an older look. That it you was can a put clean, a... classic line. Exactly, exactly. All right, very good. Our next, I think it's a mirror, what we have here. It is a mirror. As I said, we do home accessories as well. So mirrors, picture frames, this keeps them out of the, out of the junkyard. And it gives you a really classic look with a vintage piece. So a frame from the late 19, early 1900s, late 1800s is going to give a nice accent to that period style What did you home. do to these mirrors? Again, same as we do with the light fixture. We clean them up, remove layers of paint or spray paint, or just get them to a position where you can see the beauty of the original metal underneath. And I said, well, you did the same thing for the frames. And the same thing for the frames. That's correct. And let's go down here and uh, take a look at these these are These really are like, great. Where would you put that? Would that be over a piano, a desk? They're desk lamps. Okay. They're, they're early 1900 desk lamps. In fact, the one on uh, the left there is made right in New Haven, blocks from here in 1908 by the Greased Manufacturing Company. So it, it adds a little flavor to it when you can talk about a local piece. Uh, next to it is the piece that's been restored. With the steel, we actually had to repaint it. We've rewired it. It's a great look. It gives a real vintage look to even a modern office. When you're looking for that, you have that stark office and you want that little pop. So desk the desk lamp, lamp over here has not been restored. Correct. And the one next to it has. Has been. And so these are the things that people actually have in their attics, right? Or, or, or they, they think, oh, I can't use it. Attics, they really garage, can. old boxes that are stuffed in the corner of the garage. People find these things and they're treasures. They can't be replicated today with the same quality, the same style, and the same materials. Now how yeah. long of a project was this when you restored that desk lamp? Projects can vary particular one like this going from the one on the left to the one on the right, mm -hmm. you're, you're talking about a four or five hour project. 
just working on that piece, rewiring it, getting the metal prepared to be painted or cleaned up. And it takes a period of time. So you have a lot of craftsmen back there yes, restoring we everything. The fellows we have, we have about 70 years of experience working back there who have just done this type of work. So when they look at it, it's not, oh, a matter of what could we do. It's, oh, this is how we're going to do it because we've done so many of them before. Oh, that's great. All right, our last thing is the floor lamp. The floor lamps are very neat. Uh, when you start looking at the detail of the bases and the, the design in them, you can't find that in a lamp today unless it's produced in plastic. Uh, these are metal, brass specifically. The detail is unbelievable. When you look at the bridge lamp, you're going to see it's dirty. There's no luster to it. That's it's right. Just, there's some oxidation. The wiring's bad. There's actually some danger in and the we're wiring. We're talking about the lamp that's farthest Farthest lost. away, correct. And the, yes, it's very uh, dirty. It still hasn't been cleaned up yet. Correct. Okay. But when you look at it, it's got good bones. Yes, it you does. Know, there's a lot of beauty and detail in it. The one on the other side that's lit with the mica shade has got all the same kind of details, and it looks similar to that, but after several hours work, it's beautiful. Look at the luster. <laughs> it, it's, it, it is. It, it's, it's lovely. It's shining. And the shade was a mica shade back from the early 1900s. Well, we didn't have the shade. We actually made that shade. Uh, one of the craftsmen made the shade, so we have a duplicate of what was originally. So a lamp like this would cost a lot of money today. But if you restored a lamp, it would be, would it be less expensive or, well, it's, what do you think? It's a, it's a, it's a real saver. It if is. If you wanted the same quality of design, the same quality of materials and craftsmanship that goes into a lamp made today, you'd pay thousands and thousands That's of dollars. Thought. You can restore that for a very modest price. <laughs> Again, much each, less than those thousands and thousands much of less. dollars. And the reason I'm a little coy on it is because each one has to be evaluated. Absolutely. There's a different level of work on each one. It's like going to a mechanic and saying, my car's not running. What's wrong with it? How much is it going to cost? <laughs> and you don't know until there's an evaluation done. That's so true. And of course, for more information on Restoration Lighting Gallery, or visit the, you can visit their new website, which is MyRLG.com. That's right. Or you can call the number on the screen, 860-493-2532. And again, you're part of a big family, aren't you? The Connecticut you? Lighting Center's family. We can do everything from restoring a piece and getting you a lampshade to doing a full lighting layout for landscape, your home, commercial, residential, all of it. All right, Mark. It's always great to see you. Pleasure to see you too, Jocelyn. <laughs> Bye-bye. Take care of yourself. And up next, Teresa's in the Kitchen with Chef Sherry Swanson making a delicious apple salad with maple balsamic dressing. That's when Connecticut Style returns.